everyone, what's up? This is Marcos with Feature Studio University. Welcome to another video on our Happy series. Did you know that you can render different base layouts in Happy's Vision plugin for different kinds of routes? So uh, what I mean is nowadays all the pages, especially the start pages, have huge headers with large backgrounds and the navigation that is overlaying uh, like a gradient or a large image. And on the other pages, there's a navigation at the top that has a normal background, like one color or just a border at the bottom. And I mean, let us go to the Future Flix start page and let's see what I mean. All right, you can see the Future Flix page that has a background image and a small greeting. It's just welcome to Future Studio. You know, it's not finalized yet, but it's a starting point. And if we go to the profile, you can see that the navigation changes completely. There's a small, like a, like a shadow from the navigation and you can see the background is just white. We have the navigation in the middle like before, but it has a different style. The page below is just a headline with a white background, some text and on the start page, you can see there's no shadow over here. And I mean, it's, some, it's, it's different. So how do you achieve this in Happy? Let's go to WebStorm, where you can see the view configuration. I mean, there's a layout path for the Vision plugin, and you can see that it resolves to the Views path and the Layouts folder. So the Views path is over here. It's resolved from the current directory where the server.js file is located. It goes into Public, Views, and yeah, it's over here. So you can see that the public views folder and then in layouts, there are two different layouts. So the hero layout is for the start page and only for the start page at this point. And the other layout is a default layout, which is specified here. So every route that doesn't override this default configuration from the views manager, we use the default layout and render the content inside the views. So Let's open the layouts file and you can see that there's a header imported, which is a partial view. You can see this here, there's a header and down here is a section for the actual content. So in the hero, we just import the content and the content itself will be the index.js file, which has some styling. And then you can see there's a special navigation for the hero, which is just inside or below the hero background. So you can have like a navigation inside the large image that you have seen on the start page. All right, so how do you achieve this for individual routes? Let's go to the start page route. Over here, you can see the route handler that replies a view. And you know that reply.view requires at least a single argument, which is the view file that should be rendered. Now it's the index. You can see the second argument is uh, actually some context data that you pass into the views that get rendered into the views by your uh, rent template engine. And the third parameter is an options object for the view manager that will override the default configuration. So in this specific route, we will override the layout file from over here. You can see the layout is set to layout, but for this special route, the index route, we will set it to the hero. So Happy Vision will use a hero layout instead of the default layout file. All right, so let me show you what happens if you remove this, this part, because you have seen that, it, okay, let's go back. You have seen that the default layout imports a header and over here the content, you will have like two navigations and within the actual content space, there will be the large background with the navigation. That's what we expect. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's reload the page. All right, there you see it. The default layout specifies the navigation at the top with a white background, so the white background for the actual content. And then with inside the placeholder for the actual content, you're now seeing the large header or hero image that we've seen before, which should take the space of the whole page. Okay, so let's go back and edit the file again to, to use the hero layout. All right, so you may ask what options do you have to override within the, within the view manager? Let's go to Chrome and see which options are available. So 
We are now in the Vision Plugins repository on GitHub. You can go to the api.markdown file and within the API reference, you can see that the server views configuration, that's the one we have seen in the beginning, allows a huge list of options. So you can see that the, it starts with the engines. Oh, sorry, let me increase the size. Okay, and then you are seeing it like the partials path, helpers path, relative to layout, and you know, there's a large list of options that you can pass to the view manager to override the default state. But there are three options that you can't override in for an individual route. And this is a partials path, the helpers path, and the is cache property. You know, you can't register specific partials while rendering a specific route. So you need to define your partial views in the beginning when starting your server and the same is with helpers. So you can't register individual helpers only for a single route. They will be available for the whole project, which is absolutely fine. So, well, that's the whole idea of using multiple layouts in your happy project. Benefit from multiple layouts by using a different one on the start page and having another layout that is kind of softer or not that funky on different other pages. So let's go to the code and just shortly review what you have learned. So by using the reply.view function, you need to pass at least a specific view and you can skip the data or the context data. And as the third parameter, you can pass an options object to override the default view manager configuration. So you know, make use of these options objects, but remember that you can't override the ist cache property, the partials path, and the helpers path. We hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos. We hope you like it, enjoy your day, enjoy coding, and make it rock.